In this video, I'm going to show you how to take phone orders with WooCommerce. For example, I'm gonna search for product, add it, create a customer, fill the details, and create order. So if you're interested, then jump in, because without any lengthy introduction, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, a couple of months ago, I already covered briefly this plugin. It has two versions. It has a free version and it has a pro version. Today I'm going to show you how can the pro version benefit you because it's feature-rich plugin over here. So as I said, it's a pro version. That means it costs for one website $100. But if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a link with a coupon code. If you use that, you'll get 20% off. So use a coupon code to get the discount. Also, I'm going to put the link to the pro version in the description of this video. But after you have purchased the plugin and downloaded it, you're going to go to the plugins, add new, upload the plugin, install and activate it. And after that, you'll see a phone orders menu under the WooCommerce. Let's go and see what happens over there. If you open it up, then there is a add order page. I'm going to back to it later because first let's take a look at the settings over here. First, common settings, whether you would like to automatically update the shipping or taxes, I would like to do that. Also, I'm going to set the default payment method to PayPal or direct bank transfer or whatever it is. Also, I'm going to set the default order status to pending payment. If I would like my shop to not send the order emails, I'm going to check this one, but I'm not going to do that because I want my customers to get the order details. Next one, layout. Show order date, time or status or payment method. Date, status, payment method. You can customize what you would like to see over here. There are a bunch of details. You can hide the buttons, great order, great draft, full refund, invoices and so on. And you can also mark as paid setters to processing if you like or whatever you would like to set it here. Next one, let's move to the interface. How many records for the last seven days you would like to see in a log? I'm going to leave it to seven. If you would like to collapse WordPress menu, then check it. I'm going to show you what it does. If I refresh the page, as you see, it's collapsed. I don't like it, therefore I'm going to deactivate it and leave it as it is. But if you have a smaller screen, then it would be wise to do so. Under the WooCommerce tab, you can show the icon in phone orders. That is this icon here. You can show button edit in orders list. That means this button here. And there are a couple of other options you can take a look at. Next one, let's open up the cart items. If you would like to use the fractional quantities, then activate the first one here. Show column discount. Let's activate it and see what happens. I'm going to refresh the order here. And as you see, here is a discount column. It's useful if you would like to give this product a 5% discount and the next product 10% discount. But if you're not using that, then you can also add the discounts here. If most of the order contains some kind of specific product, then you can set the default product CS. For example, I'm going to add this product and this product here. Now I'm going to save it and open up the phone orders. As you see, these two products are already added to the cart. It's a nifty feature if your orders contain same products all the time. Next, let's take a sneak peek to the taxes. Show detailed taxes. I have this one activated. You can hide some lines here. Coupons, basically nothing to configure here, only to hide the coupon or a couple of other options. Under the shipping, you can allow to edit shipping costs. You can select the default shipping method by countries you're using, and you can hide shipping section here. Also, ship to different address, you can open it up in a pop-up. Under the references, you can disable the cache or reset cache. Under the fine orders, you can hide this section here. 
you can create new products during the order creating process. You can disable it here if you would like to do that. And there are a bunch of settings here. For example, you can show product properties, weight, length, width, and so on, or you can hide them. Under the products, you can activate search by SKU, which is always useful. You can activate deep search, filter products by category, and so on. If you would like to sell out of stock products, then also activate this one here. Take a closer look at it and you can hide some fields over here. Save it and you're good to go. Under the new customer, you can disable creating customers or hide some fields. You can set the default city postcode and so on. Once again, if you're selling to the one specific region, then setting the defaults allows you to save some time later. Under the customers, you can select the default customer if you like. You can hide fields. You can set the required fields. For example, if you don't want the email field to be required, you can just deactivate this one here. Next one is a nifty one, custom fields. I have created one custom field. It's a phone two. If I open up the order, as you see, it's here. Maybe it's another field I would like to create, therefore, I'm gonna name it delivery time, custom field name. And now if I save it and refresh it, as you see, there is a delivery time here. You can set the position to the custom fields, as you see, order fields, number of columns per, per line, section for the customer and so on. So if you need custom fields, you can add them here. If you would like to hide the discount, you can do that here. If you would like to hide the fees, as you see, you can add some fees with your phone orders. You can hide it here. Now, next one, I'm going to activate the checkout at, at front end. Show the links here. And under the run at front end, I'm going to Accept orders at front end page, and here is a link. Now let's open it up. And as you see, now I'm at the front end and I can use it. I have to be logged in because if I open up the private view and open this link, then it's not going to work. So, nifty feature if you would like to use this one without logging to the back end. So, these were the plugin settings. Now let's see how to create a phone order over here. You can click either add order here or, for example, if you're on the dashboard, then you can open up the WooCommerce phone orders and it opens up. As you remember, we set two products to be the default ones. So I can set a 20% discount to this one and 10% to this one here. If I would like, I can add another product from the tools. I'm going to search it. Ski, it's here whether it's a user that is already added, for example, this one here, or I can create another user like here. I'm going to fill the blanks over here. Save customer. And as you see under the shipping, we have a add. Let's click, click on it. No shipping methods are available. And it's because we haven't selected the country. I have to select the country here. All the shipping options shown are the ones you have set up here for Estonia and for Finland. If I choose, for example, UK, I don't have any shipping options because I have not set them up. So free shipping, local pickup for or courier, I can change the courier price to, for example, six euros, save it. And yeah, as you see, all the taxes are automatically calculated here. I can change the order status, payment method, or ship to different address. The pop-up opens up and I can fill the fields or copy from billing address here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to deselect it. Also, the nifty feature is a tax exempt. As you see, if I select this one, the tax is zero. Maybe the order is for the customer who needs tax exempt. 
Custom fields I added, phone 2 and delivery time. Private note, customer note, nothing to configure here. Just create order, create draft, go to cart. But if there's nothing to configure, I'm going to create an order. Order created. And now if I go to the orders list, as you see it's here, pending payment. I can edit it if needed. Or I can change the status here. Or here. And as you see, the email is sent. Your order is created. Thank you for order. This is an email that the customer gets. Simple yet effective, isn't it? Now, one more nice feature. If I have a customers who are coming back, then there is another option for you. I'm going to open up the phone orders. Now I'm going to search for order number, for example, 2138. 2138. I'm going to select this order and now I'm going to copy order. And all the information from this order are copied here. Product details, customer details and so on. And I can add some products if needed. For example, I'm going to add the lamp here. Add a discount, shipping information, and create order. All this is done with a couple of clicks, and that means if you need phone orders for your WooCommerce shop, shop, then this product is made for you. As I said in the beginning of this video, there is a limited free version, and pro version, pro version costs $100 for one site, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a 20% discount coupon for you. Just use the link you see in the description. Now, if you find this video helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.